Hey Cancers, welcome to your January general reading. This is a general and won't resonate with everybody, but I do personal readings and my email will be in the description box along with information on what decks of cards I use in each video. So go ahead and check out that. Welcome, if you're new, please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let's see what we have going on, Cancers. Okay, so... This could be the one. Keep an open mind. Your soul may, may differ from your, <coughs> your usual type and expectations. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Ooh, so you may be looking for a certain type of relationship you may be open to a certain type of relationship but remember to keep an open mind your soul may may differ from your usual type right <clears throat> sorry my throat, throat chakra being aff affected there so somebody may be wanting to speak to you oh knight of wands okay so maybe you're expecting somebody um pacific to come in when in actual fact, somebody new may come rushing in before this person you expect to come in. So keep an open mind. This person may be better for you, may catch you by surprise here because she looks a bit startled. So maybe this person coming in catches you by surprise here and you're expecting this new person to be like an old person, Knight of Wands energy, right? You're expecting them to be a player or something. Um, but I don't think they are. Just keep an open mind here, right? Because this person could be the one you're looking for. You could be starting to catch feelings for somebody new here. It may have started off just a bit of fun with this Knight of Wands energy, um, but keep an open mind. You've just got to trust the divine, right? Let things unfold naturally. That's not just for the let go. Let things happen naturally as well. So somebody is coming rushing towards you. Let's see. Ooh, the lovers. Look, I do believe a soulmate is coming in for you. Somebody, I feel like somebody new is coming in. You may be expecting somebody from the past, but I feel like somebody new is coming in. You may just be of the mindset after a previous relationship that um, maybe all people are the same, all women are the same, all guys are the same. No. Somebody's coming and they're going to surprise you here by how loving and caring they are. It might be the fact that they come across as fun, happy, outgoing, so you think, oh, they're going to be a player. Um, but it seems like this is a soulmate, a divine lover coming towards you. Could be a Gemini or a Sagittarius there, as it's the Knight of Wands and the lovers. Let's see. Nine of Wands, yeah, your guard is up. You're like, I'm not trusting anybody. I don't want to be vulnerable right now. I'm just getting my strength back. Um, so you may say things like, I want a new relationship. I want to meet somebody. But in actual fact, you may be um, like scared of being vulnerable or something here. Because look at her, she's strong. She's, you know, gorgeous, courageous. So you could be in this energy um, wanting um, a love connection. But you think, you know, maybe everybody's just a player right now. I can't trust anybody. So you feel like you don't want to be vulnerable right now. But it's actually blocking people coming in. So if you want somebody to come in, you know, we have to open our heart chakra to actually giving and receiving. I know it's difficult. And I know this is a protection um, thing that you're doing, a self-protection. Like, I'm protecting myself. I would rather, you know, stand strong and alone right? Because the nine's related to the hermit. So it's like, I'd rather stand strong and alone, protecting myself than let a knight of wands come and hurt me again. Are you crazy? But it might just be your perception of this person with this keep an open mind card here. It might be that you're viewing them like that, right? Um, because of how they're fun and playful and that. 
Um, but just keep an open mind. I mean, have healthy boundaries, but don't block yourself off completely from love. You may be saying, well, Stephanie, the last time I trusted, it was a night of ones. So if it looks like an egg, it's an egg. <laughs> you know, not everybody is going to be like that. I mean, I have to learn the same things, right? So I'm just telling you what the message is here. Don't shoot the messenger, guys. Yep, the world. So there is this new beginning, this new cycle, this new soulmate here to be met after you've closed down a cycle, you've regained your strength here and you're in this protection mode. Um, but like I said, I feel like, you know, you want love, but it's just maybe that you're a bit headstrong at the moment. You may just be like, right, you know, I'm going to stand my ground here. Nobody's walking over me again. That's never happening again. Um, you could just be getting back your strength and that's why you're like, <laughs> you know, no way. But there is this new beginning coming in for you, right? It is right that you protect yourself, but not overly cautious. I understand, like, you don't want to be nobody's fool again, but, you know, not everybody will expect you to be a fool. Three of Cups, look, good news is on the way. Celebrations, happy times, union, this coming together, right? Somebody, who, look at this person here. Look, you look, seem closed off. So you may have been even calling in your soulmate at one point, like, you know, wishing for somebody. And now you just may be happily independent in this self-protection mode. Like, I'll quickly drop you if, you know, I even smell something bad or... <laughs> You know, um, but this person who's coming in, um, they want to be with you, you know, they want to look how she's caressing her and, you know, they want to love you here. So don't let, you know, ghosts of the past or demons of the past spoil your present, right? And your possible future here. It is a soulmate. The lovers are here. You know, we don't only just have one soulmate. Um, maybe if you are wanting somebody from your past or somebody from your past has returned, um, maybe then the advice is here to put up your guard, right? To close down this cycle. You may have wanted union with this person, um, but they've been out in this Night of Wands energy, um, maybe even sleeping around. And now they want to come back to you. So you would be tested here. This would be like a test. Are you still going to accept um, this ex who's treating you this way? You know, or are you going to close down this cycle? You know, maybe because you want so much to be with somebody that you'll accept um, an ex who maybe mistreated you. So that would be a test in that case. So if some of you your exes are coming back um, and they're still in this let's have fun energy, then that's not the case. A new person, yes, you want to have fun at the beginning. You want to allow it to unfold naturally. You know, you want to laugh with each other, play with each other, have fun with each other. But an ex can't come back and, you know, just think, well, Let's have some fun. It's not respecting yourself. So that would be a test for you, right? Before this cycle finally closes down with that soulmate. So that a new one could come in. And if it's not your ex and it's somebody new, it'd be like a test to, are you open to love? You said you wanted love, you requested love. Are you open to love? Or are you going to let fear hold you back because you have to trust this situation? Queen of Wands, well, you're sure looking good. And here I feel like you will take action. So looking good, feeling good. This is probably um, Venus energy coming into you. So feeling this strength, this power, and like emanating this love energy. That's why you're calling in this soulmate. This is why people are attracted to you. It may even be younger people that are attracted to you, 
right? Because you're giving off this strength, this confidence. Be careful not to be doing too much. The Queen of Wands can sometimes be doing too much that she's not at her throne, right? And missing people who are wanting to come into her life because she's so busy maybe with work or, you know, other things. So be careful while you're in this Queen of Wands energy not to be doing too much. Strength, look at you. I told you, you're just like getting your power back here. It could be a Leo that's coming towards you or that's your ex here. We do have all the rest of the signs, you know, that will come out. But some people like me to say um, the signs of the arcana. Um, so, okay, here, look at you. It's like taking no prisoners. So this new person comes in, it's like... Um, they could just be like flirting with you and you'll be like, hey, what do you want? What do you want with me here? What do you want to do? What's going on? Like, what, what, what are your future plans? What's your star sign? What's your date of birth? Give me the time you was born. <laughs> I'm going to check you out first. <laughs> like, um, but I feel like, um, it could be this love hate you have a relationship with an ex as well but I feel like here don't be too strong on a new person you know ask hey what do you do for a living <laughs> rather than listen what time was you born and where I'm gonna need pacifics here okay because I'm not playing no games <laughs> it's like you're coming off maybe too strong and too empowered I actually um when I did the Thinking Out Loud number two video, we talked about, um, you know, having feminine energy in a, masculine uh, in a masculine world, but needing a feminine energy in a relationship, right? <clears throat> that doesn't mean you're giving away your power or that you have to be weak or you have to bow down. It's about taking on a more softer approach, um, being able to support and love and nurture somebody so maybe you are in your masculine energy like taking care of business um just like me i've always had to be like in the masculine energy um that could be the queen of wands as well like you're this go-getter strong independent um but you know male and female need a balance of feminine and masculine within them so be careful not to be too in your masculines okay don't be too strong have a softer approach so that people can approach you as well emperor so you're like i'm not changing <laughs> don't be stuck in your ego right Okay, we know it's a hard lesson to learn. And the thing about ego is it can creep back in, especially when we're feeling good and looking good, um, feeling strong, ego can creep back in. So be, do be careful of that. You know, like I said myself, I've done this and I've had to check myself. And I definitely feel like 2020, my focus is going to be always checking myself. I do anyway. I am I'm make myself accountable for my actions, but... I feel like remember to check yourself that you're not stepping into ego. It is self-love. It is strength, you know, um, because we can have sort of this, I, I'm an empowered woman. I don't need a man sort of energy, but you're trying to call in a soulmate. It's very confusing. And what you'll end up with is a player like the Knight of Wands because, you know, you're not calling in the right balanced energy. Okay, okay, I've rambled enough about that. <laughs> so, yeah, there could be a significant age difference, but um, you may be meeting somebody older than you this time if the ex was younger than you. Um, but this is an abundant new beginning. The emperor is abundant, right? Um, we don't just look at the negative aspects of the emperor. He's the leader of leaders, you know, such strength in him 
you know? So it's going to take a strong man to take this strong woman, or it's going to take a strong woman to take you who is this strong man, this con conqueror, this emperor here, right? So an emperor, you're going to need an empress, right? So you want somebody who's healed on the right life track sort of thing. This is this questions here, isn't it? So where are you on your spiritual journey? Have you healed your past demons? Let me have a look in your eyes. What's going on? <laughs> so, <clears throat> yeah, it's great to know those things and it's great to have things in common and have the same goals. But we also like a little difference, right? Difference is the beauty and the spice of life. Maybe that they're a different race with me saying um, there's a difference between you guys. I'm seeing a lot of women dressing um, very sexy here. So maybe it was because of the holidays. You guys was all dressed up and looking good. Look at this. Justice. Wonderful. You know, um, it's time for things to go your way, 2020. It's not all just about the negative. It's time for things to go your way, things to balance out. And again, like I said, balancing that feminine and masculine energy within you here. Because, you know, this powerhouse of masculine energy that you need out in the workforce can be put to the back when, you know, you're in a relationship and bring the feminine energy to the front, you know, when we're around somebody we love or want to be in a relationship with, we're dating, we want to remember to, you know, let the masculine take a step back. He's not needed for work yet. Maybe the masculine's needed for your job, but not for dating, right? So that's guys and girls. Don't confuse when I say masculine and feminine with male and female. Time for the feminine energy to come out and play. You know, Venus is calling the feminine energy to the forefront here, especially in relationships. Like I said, save that masculine to work for your job and be a go-getter. And find a nice balance. That's what the Justice card is about, right? For some, it'll be a Libra that's coming in. Um, or an Aries here. But the Emperor is card four. Um, the... Sorry, I was going to say the Libra. <laughs> the Justice is card eight there, right? So is this infinity that, you know, this backwards and forwards between the masculine and feminine that you need to do? Be able to turn off that masculine energy when the time's right. When it's okay for you to be a sexy lady. <laughs> Okay, so Ten of Pentacles, yeah, great time for you to earn money and a very stable relationship coming towards you. And again, we see, look, um, being able to switch between the feminine and masculine, know when to bring the masculine to the front and let the feminine to the back. Pick, you know, your battles. Have a nice balance. We do need both of them within us, right? It's time to... Um, stop the masculine being at the front all the time. You don't need to be hard all the time. Okay? Good luck, guys.